how important is this next month here? You got six games, I think, in the month of July. Just talk about where the club is and, and what you're expecting as we get like the middle of the summer here. I think for us, um, you know, we take the season in phases, uh, but I think what, the reason we've been so successful so far is taking every game one game at a time. Uh, and I think, you know, whether you're at the top of the table, like wherever you are at the, at the table, it's easy to look ahead and project forward. But at the end of the day, all you can do is get three points at a time. And so I think, you know, yes, we look at, you know, each phase as itself, but within that, all you can do is focus on one game at a time. And I think that's, that's the way we've been successful. So I think that's what we're going to continue to do. Steph, individually, you're not only substituting, you know, a huge icon and legendary keeper, but now you also have the pressure of undefeated season, best start. How do you deal with that? Yeah, I think, like I said, it's you know, you know you can look at you can look at all these all these externalities and all the things that are going on in the, around us and in, in you know records, whatever. But there's 90 minutes at a time. That's all we can play. And I think we, even within that, it's one moment at a time. And I, so I think that keeping our feet on the ground, keeping keeping in the present moment. You know, you, you read about you know happiness, like what, whatever it is. It's all it's all about focusing on the present. And I think that's the way to be most successful in soccer and kind of in life. But uh, for us, it's it's you know one minute at a time, and then one game at a time, one week at a time. Uh, and I, I think that if we continue to be can continue to do that and each of us does our job I think as a team we'll be successful because when somebody makes a mistake the next guy's right there to help them uh, and that's yeah, that's what we've done so far and I think that's been the motto of the club when you look at your performances so far what stands out what stands out to you as things that you can get better at I think for me I, it's just it's like I said focusing on every moment uh, Every, every action that happens, whether it's a good action or bad action, kind of dump it in a trash can and move on to the next thing. Because if it's a bad action, you know, it's going to hurt your confidence. If it's a good action, it's gonna, you're going to become overconfident and then try to make a play that you don't need to make. So I think focusing on whatever is right in front of you and, and making the right decision for the team is the way that I, continue to be, that I can continue to be successful and trusting the guys in front of me. Because we have an amazing team. Uh, we have some amazing defenders, whether it's we have, you know, the top guys in or, or we have depth guys in. I think everybody's performing really well. Um, I mean, I, for me, myself, I, I know Steph Fry's the guy here. Uh, and I think if everybody just puts their job, puts, puts the work in and does what they need to do, I think we have a very good team and it's a team sport. Steph, you, sorry, Steph, when you, uh, okay. Yeah, when you, you said you put the stuff in the trash can there. So when you and Tommy open that trash can and take a look at those games, you know, what, what's that like working with Tommy, you know, reviewing and for each game. Yeah, I think I, Tommy's so good. I think we, we work on everything technically out here uh, and then review the games in the video in the locker room after the games. Uh, and every moment's a learning moment. I think one of the things that makes him so great and makes the goalkeepers at this club so successful is that he's not just looking at the actions. He's not just looking at the goals you concede. He's looking at what's your position like and how's, how are you standing when the ball's 30 yards away from the goal or 60 yards away from the goal? Are you in the position that you need to be in? And I think that that is... That is how you know Steph Fry has been so successful in, in having very complete games and building that consistency because there's no, you know, anybody can make a top corner save if they know the ball is going there or if they guess there, but consistently making the saves that uh, that you need to make when the team needs you to make them is how you know you build a great career and I think that's that's what we're all trying to do here. So when you stepped in uh, for this, was it a whirlwind? Did you feel like that? And then and then several starts in now, how do you feel in terms of? You, how comfortable you are now? Yeah, I think uh, you know there's definitely a little bit of pressure, um, but I definitely felt the pressure in you know when I played my first game in Chicago. Uh, so I think it's it, those jitters come back a little bit, and, and every time you step on the field, you get those jitters a little bit. But once the whistle blows, you know it's you're playing a game, uh, and that's what it is. And I think that's what's what makes practice so important is when you know when I'm out here in these small sided games, is as a backup goalkeeper or as a, as, as a goalkeeper, you have to prepare like you're stepping on the field in the, in the stadium. And you're, you know, you're imagining the fans, you're imagining so that when you get onto the field, this isn't your first time going through it in your head. And visualizing the game, doing whatever you need to do to prepare for, for those 90 minutes um, is, is what you need to do and, and being ready. So I think that mentally, pre mentally preparing is the biggest thing.
Does the crow make you feel uh, pressure or that helps you to improve your game? Oh, I think it's it's amazing to have the crowd behind us. Uh, I don't I don't feel pressure from them. I think you know I hear them and I hear the noise behind me, but I'm focused on the game. Uh, and I think having having their support and I know you know this the fans are so incredible here and they're so supportive. Uh, so I think that I think they definitely build us up. Are there a few guys you can point to in the locker room keeping you guys steady? I mean, you have people leaving for international play. You have injuries. Who's keeping this ship steady? I think that. Um, you know, the, the veterans, the guys that are going to be here, the guys that are are here all the time, um, I think they, they keep the ship steady. You know, whether they're injured or not, I think Nico's in, in, in the locker room. Uh, he's a great leader. Uh, I think everybody, but th but that, that's the great thing about this club is the culture of the club is, is so good and so uh, winning in, in success is so ingrained in the culture in the club. And, and when, when I got here last year, I felt that. And I felt that, and so then that's now my responsibility to pass on to the younger guys, even though I've only been here a year and a half. I think that everybody feels, you know, we want to get three points out of every game, whether it's home, away, and we're going to do everything we need to do to prepare to do that. Uh, and we also know that there are guys gone, we have injuries, for, you know, guys going for national duty. Whatever it is, is it, we can't think about that because that's the reality of the situation. And so everybody knows that when they need to step up, they, they step up and they do what they need to do. And you know, for the team. So there's a pretty good culture with freedom of speaking up verbally, not just action with play. Like you're, you feel good to step up and talk to somebody. Yeah, I think there's, everybody's building everybody up with confidence. And so, you know, when I stepped in, it's, you know, everybody, you got this, you know, you great goalkeeper, you're gonna do a great job uh, and and just relax. And I think that there's there's this balance between feeling pressure and feeling relaxed because if, if you're pressured and you're tight and, and you, can't, you can't play freely, uh, so I think that's, it's there's no micromanagement going on here. I think everybody's able to express themselves as a player, and um, I think that's why people are successful. Hey Steph, going back to the coaching, the mental aspect from t from Tommy, is that ability to stay in the moment whether the ball's down 60 yards or not, you visualize in the game. Is that what leads to saves late in the game? That because you're in the game the the whole 90 plus minutes. Yeah, I think so. I think. Um, it, yeah, and that's the difficult thing with being a goalkeeper on such a good team is that you don't have very many actions to do. So whether it's communicating, uh, just staying engaged at all points is how you, because the dips in focus is, is when you make mistakes. So when the ball's 60 yards away, 90 yards away, whatever it is, or 20 yards away, you have to be just as focused and turned on and preparing for the counter, preparing for whatever's to come. Uh, and so I think that maintaining engagement is, is how you make the saves and then just is and being ready um, for whatever mistakes happen, trying to clean up the mess. Steph, is when just follow up, just how important and underrated is the play of the forwards defensively once the ball is it, it change hands and for them to stop that and play defense? How important has that been for this? I think it's, it's very important. I think that. You know, we joke that Raul likes he, he likes to press and he because he likes to win that ball back. Uh, Will Bruin likes to press. Uh, you know, Freddie Freddie is great in, in defense. So I think, but it, it doing you know Raul running 40 yards by himself to press the goalkeeper and nobody behind him isn't going to do any good. So I think the forwards start the pressure, but everybody has to be behind him. And and like I mentioned a few minutes ago, it's a, it's a team sport. So I think as long as we're doing everything as a team, and I think the organ, organization and collectiveness of the group is is what provides the solid defense in front of goal. Hey Steph, is my understanding that you, even before you were the starting uh, goalie, you were practicing some Spanish. How much better has that gotten? That's what I'm hearing. You're saying, I want to know how much better has the Spanish gotten? Muy poquito. Is Jay Bar helping out or Javi? Yeah, yeah, Javi loves to chit chat. Uh, he talks to me in English, I talk to him in Spanish. Um, Yamar, I do my best to talk in Spanish. I can't understand a word he says, but he's. Uh, I, I I try. I'm trying. I'm trying to get better. What was the mood of uh, training like this week after the results? I think that we, you know, were frustrated with the Vancouver result, but at the same time, you know, we got seven points out of a week, uh, and especially the win in LA is not not an easy win, uh, and I think that's a very important win. So. Kind of like I said, you ha you can't you can't dwell on one point against Vancouver. Um, it kind of goes in the trash can, and we're moving forward because what's important is the three points in Colorado.